We would like to commend our five girls who took part in this competition. It is a good learning curve for them. And three of those girls are going with us to South Africa on Saturday next week to expose them to such kind of golf. And we hope they would have learned something from today to be able to carry it forward. As we move forward, the Kenya Ladies Golf Union celebrates no less than 92 years of being at the helm of ladies golf in Kenya. Since the beginning of women representing Bodhi, has supported clubs, society, and national teams to fly the Kenyan flag high. We are proud to have achieved, to achieved of the women's game, amongst other things, winning of regional and continental amateur competitions. We've had the first female-owned uh, run and golf academy run by Rose Naliaka, and now the participation in our top amateur golf uh, competition, the Ladies European tu uh, Tour event here in MKLO. It's the fourth edition of the Ladies European Tour in Kenya. We're very proud to uh, see this tournament growing. And obviously, uh, this is not possible with all, without many, many people uh, behind the scenes, but most importantly, with very important partners. So we want to thank the Ministry of Sport and the Sports Fund for supporting this tournament, the Kenya government. Without, without the support, it wouldn't be possible. Thank you very much for that. The sponsors from the private sector, Peter and Degwa from uh, M-Pesa, you're here today. And M-Pesa and Safaricom have been a very important partner over the last couple of years. You, was you have always been by our side. So Peter, thank you very much for all your support. It's very much appreciated. We have great partners like EABL, APSA, a new partner this year. So uh, great, great to have them on board. We are happy to be inv involved uh, in the uh, Magical Kenya uh, Ladies uh, Open again this year. Uh, this is our fourth year that we've been involved uh, with this tournament. Uh, over the past uh, four years, we've uh, spent about 100 million uh, Kenya shillings in terms of sponsorships. This year, uh, we have put in 34 million. We are happy to continue to be involved uh, in, in, with this tournament. Uh, it showcases sports uh, in this country, but also as a uh, destination for tourism, uh, so happy to be involved with the uh, Vipingo uh, ones. Sports for us is, is an area that we know is a passion point for Kenyans. We are involved in various sports, uh, so Prime Cabinet Secretary and the CS Sports and also PS. We are happy to partner with the government uh, across all sports areas. Uh, we are very big with Chapadima, which is in football. Uh, we are big, of course, with golf, and we have been involved many, uh, for many years, and I'm, I'm sure we'll continue to be involved in the future. We'll be involved in the Olympics uh, uh, in, the, in the coming, uh, in the coming months as we lead up uh, to Paris uh, this year. And uh, I just want to commit the Safari Command and Pesa. Uh, so this year, we are represented by Mpesa uh, Global, which is a partnership between us uh, and, uh, and Visa uh, International. Uh, that allows uh, customers to be able to access uh, M-Pesa and Visa uh, in an interoperable way uh, as you travel either into Kenya or, or across the world. We have invested heavily in this event as government through the Sports, Arts and Social Development Fund, which is represented here by the CEO, my brother Nuh, and I want to thank the fund that continues to anchor our support to the entire ecosystem of sports and the creative economy. This sponsorship is really in the context of one, the Talanta Hela initiative, and Talanta Hela for us really is demonstrating government's commitment to transform sports into a mega economic driver and to offer the young people of this country the opportunity to grow 
nurture and monetize their talents. But this is also about anchoring Kenya as a key destination for sports tourism. The show has had an impressive field of 108 players from 38 countries across the globe, including Finland, the US, England, South Africa, China, India, and of course, players from our very own country, Kenya. And to all the players and our guests who have come from all over the world, we once again tell you, welcome to Kenya, Karibuni to magical Kenya, the land of Hakuna Matata. We have had 10 African players in total. That included five Kenyans. And this team, Kenya, was constituted by Naomi Wafula, Kelly Gashaga, Jacqueline Walter, Marcy Nyanchama, and the youngest girl in the field 17-year-old Chanel Wangari. We are happy that most of the ladies started as juniors in the Junior Girl Foundation and have participated in both junior and amateur tournaments under the Kenya Ladies Golf Union. And as we go forward, we have to think of very critical issues that can make sports and sports equipment and sports facilities accessible, both from the policy viewpoint and also even from the legislative viewpoint. And one of the things that we will have to consider seriously is to continue looking at the tax structure, the tax structure of sports equipment. If we have to make sports accessible to everybody, we must also make the tools that go with that sports available and at an affordable price for all citizens and all participants. So that is something that we'll pick up from here. The notion has been that golf is expensive, golf is elitist, and it's out of reach for many Kenyans. We can make a difference. And as I speak here, uh, I am a golfer too. Uh, I will be one of your champions to make sure that what may be required to make golf even bigger, uh, you just have to look for me and I'll be with you at the right place. Kenya is now a visa-free destination. The president of Kenya made a pronouncement that with effect from 1st of January this year, Kenya shall be a visa-free nation. His simple message is that Kenya is the cradle of mankind. And therefore, you do not, do not need a visa to get back to your home. So wherever you are, feel free to come to Kenya, enjoy the beauty of Kenya, and be part of Kenya. We want more investment. We want more people to come here. And I can assure you that uh, that is the focus. That is where we say we have our eye on the ball. We are fixated on that ball to make sure that the Kenyan space becomes the natural habitat for all those who want to seek a moment of glory and a moment of peace and stability. This event is taking place in a global environment that is full of conflict, full of challenges. And the fact that we can be here in Kilifi, in Kenya, and enjoy such a tournament must never be taken for granted. Just ponder to reflect those centers that don't have peace, where there's conflict, where there's dislocation, where there's displacement, where there's a humanitarian crisis. So as we enjoy these sports, just try and fathom the value of peace. It is so valuable, you cannot buy it.